You're mindful to the body, you're mindful to the mind. Thailand has the second largest Buddhist population in the world, with approximately 64 million Buddhists. While traveling in this beautiful country for a month, I couldn't miss the opportunity to find out more about the religion. So I decided to spend three days in a Buddhist monastery located in Northern Thailand. This is my story. Right now we are in Bangkok in the middle of Thailand and we are going to Chiang Mai which is in the north. Uh, in the meantime we will have a layover uh, for two hours in uh, Ayutthaya and then we are going to take the night train third class to Chiang Mai which lasts 11 hours more. So that would be 13 hours in total. The train is leaving in three, mi in three minutes. So I have up. We had a big layover, we visited the temples and now we are waiting for the night train at 11.30 uh, to Chiang Mai. This is a night ride, it lasts 11 hours and we booked uh, third class. It only cost 8 euros per person. We made it to Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai railway station. After spending few days in Chiang Mai, we set ourselves a challenge to go from Chiang Mai to Pai <laughs> by hitchhiking. Hitchhiking race! Everybody out in the world, stop messing around. Calling all you freaks and nerds. Just Hi. Hi. My name is Vasily. But the monastery was even further, so I used the one technique that I knew well to get there. So, today's challenge is uh, to head to the monastery. Uh, it's like uh, one and a half hour away from uh, Pai, but we have to hitchhike because the bus was full and there were no empty seats. In the monastery they have a really strict timetable. The time now is uh, almost 3 and we have to get there by 6 o'clock p.m. So we only have 3 hours. My name is Vasilis. Is it okay? Yes, yes, jump in. Made it to the monastery. Such a beautiful road. Thank you very much, yeah, Nose. It's truly a magical place. So quiet. You can only hear the water from the river. The monastery was open for everyone, regardless of the age, the color, or the religion. Upon arrival, they gave us white clothes, blankets, a pillow, and a thin mattress. Men and women slept in different dormitories while the monastery provided everything you could need.
six o'clock in the morning. At 6.30, we form a line next to each other and offer rice to the monks. Theoretically, monks are not allowed to eat anything that is not offered to them. Half an hour later, breakfast was served for everyone. The rest of the day was devoted to meditation and barefoot walking meditation in the forest. During the afternoon, we would clean the area of the monastery, talk with the monks and read books. Thank you so much guys for watching the video until the end, I hope you liked it. For me, it was truly a unique experience spending 72 hours in a Buddhist monastery in Northern Thailand and definitely I feel grateful and blessed. Also, it was the first time for me that I ever meditated in my life. If you ever have the chance to do the first steps in meditation, you should definitely try it. To be honest, for me at the beginning was a bit difficult because I had to focus in my inner self, find my inner balance, my inner energy and feel my breath and it was something that I wasn't used to. But through meditation I learned that we come closer to our inner self, we learn how to love ourselves, and then we learn how to love everything else around us. So thank you again for watching the video, tell me in the comment section below what you think about meditation. Probably some of you have already practiced meditation in the past, I really want to know what was your first experience. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. How to practice in mindfulness meditation? You mindful to the body, you mindful to the sensation, you mindful to the mind and you mindful to the Dhamma.